he wanted to be in Baton Rouge because he really didn't want to be in the city. It was, in the city, it was just going to be too much. Yeah, everybody, when he moved, it was Right, like, so he wanted to be kind of outside the city. In which Baton why did he want to come home? He just missed home? I don't know. And the thing about it, when we came home, he said, man, just leave all that shit. Just take the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> left, the, left the apartment full of, full of furniture, all of that. He just left. We just left. Mm. All that. He said, just take your clothes and equipment. All this other shit. We about to go about back to the leave. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You came back home after how, how long? Um, After us being there for a year. A year. And yeah. then when you came back home, because you had to go back again, how how long did you come home No, for? no, no. When we came home, we was home. You are home. That's when he was like, man, I'm ready. He was more like, man, I'm ready to go back home. Did y'all come, did y'all came to New Orleans? Did y'all come to Baton Rouge? Where did y'all go? No, we all came back to New Orleans, but at that time, he wanted to be in Baton Rouge because he really didn't want to be in the city. It was, in the city, it was just going to be too much. Yeah, everybody, when he moved, it was Right, like, so he wanted to be kind of outside the city. In which why did he want to come home? He just missed home? I don't know. And the thing about it, when we came home, he said, man, just leave all that shit. Just take the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> left, the, left the apartment full of, full of furniture, all of that. He just left. We just left. Mm. All of that. He said, just take your clothes and equipment. All this other shit. We about to go about back to the leave. Room. How how y'all just love home. We no um, look, no look, look this, this how we left. He woke up, it was like two in the morning. You know, it was like uh he came in and said, Come on, we about to go. He said, just get uh get the equipment, y'all clothes, and we out of here. Wow. I and mean, you didn't even know what he was talking about at that time. No, it was like we said we going back home, you know what I'm saying? He, he said we're going to the city, we're going to New Orleans. Okay. But the thing about it that you know, just imagine that you just getting up in the middle of the night and say, come on, let's go. We ain't never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel hurt? <laughs> nah, not because I really. He about that work. I know, he ain't worried about, about that work. But, but See, the it, thing, I really, didn't be, I really didn't establish no friends there, though. Okay. He was working. Because you were working so much. Right. And that time, during that time, they was putting out a lot of music. They was working, and at the end of the day, what did it did it help coming back to New Orleans because of the feel? Yeah, but see, when it came back, that's when everything started popping. Pop so it. I was able to bring in the artists. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's when I came. I bought so just now. And y'all just left oh, Mac Fiend. Y'all yes, left Big Court. Did Big Court didn't come with it down here? He went back to Kansas because he yeah, said he, he said went Kansas City, Missouri. Right, like, yeah. Big Court went back. But the thing about it was, I didn't know how that situation was going to play out because, you know, when when Court and I worked, and I had to, I had to, I had to tan his ass in the studio. Um, <laughs> but it, it made him a better artist. It made him artist. better, yeah. He said you was looking at him, so you just be staring like, do it again. Yeah, like do it again. <laughs> because it's like when I was working at that, when artists are artists, I listen for pronunciations. Mm -hmm. I was listening for making sure, even though it could be some street shit. Yeah. I still want you to say it right. That's very important. We had an artist came on the show and he was talking about it. I think it was Eclipse Darkness because he's one of those that he can spit real, real fast. According like, to right. him, he's faster than even Twister. Well, he got songs with Twister. But, and the difference is, because like Twister, when he go really, really fast, I can't he's, really can't understand him as well. Right. But this dude... Whenever he did it, I could understand every single word. Right. He younger. was like, he was like, enunciation is everything. To How him. you pronounce that yeah. word? Right. But see, that's that's what I was on court about. It wasn't that he wasn't saying the right shit. He was saying the right shit. But I wanted him to say it to where when a motherfucker hear it, they understood. They heard it. They 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 heard it and understood it the first time they heard it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was just more. It was just more of me coaching. Um, court about being a better artist of your product. Him, him being an artist of delivery and saying it. I just wanted him to say that shit right, which is which is understandable. <clears throat> you know, like like the thing you gotta understand. You guys, y'all were doing something that was gonna change. It actually it swayed hip hop in a way. You right. know, like. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.